I am really excited about the next generation. I can actually see myself getting closer to my goals. I'm a hands-on person. I really don't like to sit behind a desk and do my work. I love working on these machines. The classes are intense and the way I learned is more of like a hands-on approach. You develop a skill, a technical skill, you have that for life. You know, education kind of becomes the key. The more you know, the more they're going to pay you. Right now, because we are so in need of skilled employees, companies are willing to invest in employees that will get training. My favorite day is I've got five students working on five different projects. When we are dealing with thousands of an inch, which is a fourth of a piece of paper, we're training students to be precise. And you know, whether they become machinists or, or welders or whatever, that's really not the point. The point is that we are making students care about you know, what they produce. The aha moment, every teacher has seen it. It's the reason I come here every day. We'll go from making a, a part that's not correct, not correct, not correct, and all of a sudden, there it is. If they have the interest and can be trained, this is the beginning. The goal for folks in my career, ultimately, are to send the kids off to make more money than we do. If you're active, can't be still, if you can't sit behind a desk for a long period of time, this is where you should be. I'd say it's people with imaginations, people that like to work with their hands, people that like to see their ideas actually take form. Most of our students that go through here end up getting a job here locally. There are jobs out there for students right out of high school, two-year manufacturing engineering degrees, as well as bachelor's and master's and PhD. So there's a lot of flexibility there depending on how soon you want to go to work and at what level. I want to go to a job every day that I love, that I'm good at, that I'm contributing to the company and to the community. I don't want to do a job that I hate. We have companies constantly asking for interns. We encourage as many of them as we can to, to take a position at a local company, build that resume up, get that experience. It also gives them a lot of confidence when they've actually been out into a workplace. That class, I really enjoy it, and it really got us prepared to come in to the working environment. I enjoy learning new things all the time. So being able to work with that robot and never experiencing that before was really good because it just shows you all the different things that happen in a manufacturing environment. It's professional certification. It's what we would expect from a doctor or a lawyer. As a matter of fact, I think we have more testing than a doctor or a lawyer here. Hands-on experience is important in electronic technology because our students will work with their hands on when they get out of school. We want to teach them how it works so that they are not only getting the physical skills but they are getting the knowledge behind it. A lot of what I like about the instructors at DACC is that they will work on, with you on an individual basis. They'll really get in there and try to understand what you need help with and they're very, very good and adamant about you trying to actually learn the program. The teaching style is more like a, hey, we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna walk away and let you do your thing, and it's almost like a, like a workplace. They are here because they want to get a job. I want them to advance in their workforce. Uh, the hands-on that I experienced at that helped me a lot because it was it sped up the learning curve. I can take the knowledge from DAC and apply it directly to Watchfire. I can come here and work on equipment that is similar to what DAC offers 
and that helps me a lot in the real world. I try to inspire them by showing them how things work so that it sparks their interest. And once they have that interest, uh, all you have to do is just give them as much as you can and they will just gobble it up. You know? I feel like with electronics you can help people by like going and figuring out what their problem is and like you're like the superhero, you get to come in and figure out what their problem is and fix it. Renewable energy is uh, very important to the United States. A wind turbine, when it's running, it's very clean. It uses no natural resources while it's producing electricity. Essentially, we have to double the amount of turbines that we have currently in the United States by 2023. In the next two to three years, there's not going to be enough experienced technicians to fill those jobs. Here at DAC, they make it a little bit more exciting. They teach you real-world applications in the job. They kind of make the atmosphere job-like. I can actually see myself getting closer to my goals. You get a university-level education here. Everything you do gets you one step closer to your job. We're very fortunate here at DAC. We have a lot of equipment. And, and training facilities and pieces of equipment here that they actually have in the field. A unique approach that we have in the classroom is that we can step right out into the shop or the climb tower or outside on the nacelle or the blade and we can put into practice right away the theory that they're learning into a physical practice that builds a lot of excitement in the students. DAC definitely helps you prepare for the job, you know, once you're actually out in the field because you get the climb and rescue certifications, you get a lot of hands-on things. You'll actually know what to do once you get out in the field. All the safety and all that, you'll basically already know it and you'll have all the certifications that you get here from DAC, which will definitely help you get a job too.